Every day brings new and brighter hopes for SpaceX enthusiasts who are eagerly awaiting the next Starship orbital flight attempt. Recently, SpaceX has fueled this anticipation further by announcing a specific date for Starship's second launch. This announcement marks their clearest estimation yet regarding this highly anticipated launch. But before we delve deeper into this exciting development, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on the Starship and SpaceX's other significant missions. Just yesterday, SpaceX marked a significant date on the calendar, targeting November 17th for the Starship's launch. This announcement, accompanied by a captivating video, has heightened the excitement among fans. The new Starship currently stands ready at the launch pad. This rocket, which stands 120 meters tall, produces 16.7 million pounds of thrust, more than double that of the Saturn V rockets used to send Apollo astronauts to the moon. Since its initial test at the Boca Chica site, SpaceX has made significant changes to the Starship's separation system, as noted by Musk himself. This separation system is a crucial part of the spacecraft, responsible for detaching the Starship's different stages during the flight. Musk highlighted that testing this updated separation system will be one of the most challenging and critical aspects of the upcoming flight. He tempered expectations by saying, I do want to set expectations not too high. Musk's cautious optimism is not without reason. In the lead-up to the upcoming launch, SpaceX has diligently conducted a series of critical tests and preparations at its Starbase facility. Notably, issues between Ship 25 and Booster 9 led to the de-stacking of the two components. After troubleshooting, SpaceX restacked Ship 25 on Booster 9, gearing up for a wet dress rehearsal. This test was essential as it involved fully loading the stack with nearly 5,000 tons of liquid oxygen and liquid methane, simulating actual launch conditions. The test culminated in a full launch countdown rehearsal, stopping just before engine startup. Following these tests, SpaceX conducted another crucial activity. Ship 26 completed a single-engine static fire, simulating a deorbit burn. This test was pivotal in evaluating the readiness of other Starship prototypes and components. Additionally, the human landing system prototype Noscone was moved, hinting at ongoing development for future missions, although the full purpose of this prototype remains unclear. These tests were not limited to the spacecraft itself, but extended to the launch infrastructure. A significant development in this regard is the newly installed water deluge system under the launch pad. This system was implemented to prevent the kind of damage that occurred to the launch mount during the April 20th launch, which led to the destruction of the launch pad and surrounding area. This water deluge system, designed to cope with the intense heat and energy released by the 33 engines of the Super Heavy booster, has already been tested twice. The addition of this system is a crucial enhancement, ensuring the integrity of the launch infrastructure and reducing the risk of damage from future launches. And recently, significant movements were noticed at the launch site. These developments suggest that SpaceX is in the final stages of preparation for Starship's second flight. Furthermore, SpaceX completed the installation of the Thermal Protection System heat shield tiles on Starship 25 earlier this week, a major milestone in making the Starship flight ready. The upcoming launch now hinges on the government's decision, particularly the Federal Aviation Administration's regulatory approval. Notably, the relationship between SpaceX and the Federal Aviation Administration has been marked by significant tension, particularly regarding the regulatory processes governing SpaceX's ambitious Starship program. Even back in 2021, Musk openly criticized the FAA following a situation where SpaceX was ready for a Starship rocket test flight, but clearance from the FAA was not forthcoming. Musk took to Twitter to express his frustration, stating that the FAA's space division had a fundamentally broken regulatory structure, and that its rules, designed for a few expendable launches per year from government facilities, were unsuitable for modern spaceflight operations and would hinder humanity's efforts to reach Mars. The tension between the two was also evident before the first Starship launch. SpaceX faced numerous challenges in obtaining the necessary regulatory approvals, leading to multiple rescheduled launch dates. 
These delays, often attributed to regulatory hurdles, fueled frustration within SpaceX, particularly as the company was eager to proceed with its ambitious testing schedule. This ongoing tension between SpaceX and the FAA culminated in SpaceX and other space companies taking their grievances to Congress, advocating for an overhaul of the regulatory process. These companies argued that the existing regulatory framework was not keeping pace with the rapid advancements in space technology and was causing undue delays in launch approvals. The recent developments, including the FAA's completion of safety reviews and progress toward finalizing regulatory approvals for upcoming launches, might be seen as a response to this pressure, reflecting an evolving dynamic between the space industry and regulatory bodies. As SpaceX gears up for the second orbital test flight of its Starship rocket, the company's sights are already set on subsequent missions. Behind the scenes, they are engaged in rigorous preparations even for the third launch and the following ones. The focus is not just on the immediate next flight, but on a series of successive launches that will test the limits of the Starship's capabilities. SpaceX is also developing these future Starship prototypes. These new prototypes, which will follow Ship 25 and Booster 9, are expected to feature design and technological advancements based on insights gained from previous tests. In anticipation of these upcoming missions, SpaceX is continuously enhancing its infrastructure at Starbase. This includes upgrading launch pads, refining ground support equipment, and improving propellant production facilities. Such upgrades are essential for supporting the high frequency and complexity of planned Starship launches. Meanwhile, infrastructure developments were underway at the Sanchez site, part of the Starbase facility. SpaceX continued rebuilding the ground service equipment building, adding insulation to control internal temperatures crucial for precise equipment welds. This relentless pursuit of advancement in the Starship program is closely aligned with SpaceX's role in NASA's Artemis mission. As the selected lunar lander for the Artemis missions, the Starship's success is directly tied to NASA's ambitious plans to return humans to the moon. The Artemis program, aimed at establishing a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface, relies heavily on the capabilities of the Starship to transport astronauts and cargo to and from the Moon. The upcoming Starship test flights, therefore, hold significant importance for NASA. The data and experience gained from these missions will be instrumental in fine-tuning the Starship for its critical role in the Artemis missions. NASA's investment in the Starship program reflects its confidence in SpaceX's ability to deliver a spacecraft capable of fulfilling the demanding requirements of lunar exploration. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.